Hello everyone, I'm Valentinas, Head of VPS here at Hostinger. Today, I want to talk to you about NA10, an exciting new tool for workflow automation that can supercharge your productivity. Let me show you how to actually set it up using Hostinger VPS, and since I've been using it myself lately, I'll even share some useful tips on how to automate your daily tasks with it. Let's get into it. So let's kick off by installing N8N on VPS. For that, you will need any VPS plan here at the hosting gear. Let's choose KVM2 as it is the most popular one. After the payment, you will be redirected to the onboarding. It will automatically select the server location for you. And in the next step, let's just search for N8N template and select it. Let's create a random root password for your VPS and press continue. We'll finish the setup. Once setup is done, let's head to the N8N tool itself. Let's open it and on the first login, you will be able to set up the owner account. Let's enter your email, your first name, last name, and choose the password for the tool. And you're all set up and that's it. You can start creating your workflows. First workflow that I want to show you is related with managing your VPS. I set it up a workflow that checks every day for an updates of packages inside my VPS and sends me an email if they are found. For that, every workflow starts with the trigger. There can be various trigger types. It can be triggered manually, on app event, on schedule, on a webhook call, on pretty much any other way. I set this workflow to run every day at midnight. So every day at midnight, it connects to my VPS using the SSH credentials and executes command apt list upgradables. This command lists packages that can be upgraded in my server. Next, I just format a list in HTML and check if there are any updates with a simple if command. And last, I send an email through my SMTP account to my email address that I receive every night at midnight if there are some packages that can be upgraded. This allows me to keep my VPS secure and is a fun way to start creating a workflows in N8N. Now, let's have some fun with an AI. I will show you how to set up a simple Llama 3.2 chatbot in N8N. We will host Llama model in our own VPS. For that, we need to log in to our VPS through SSH. Let's do it through browser terminal in HPanel. Once logged in, we run a new Docker container with the Llama image and connect it to the root default network. This will allow our N8N Docker container connect with Olama container. This process can take up to a couple of minutes because it downloads the whole image. Okay, now that Docker with Olama image is running, we need to download the Llama 3.2 model to it and run it. We will do it with this command. After Llama 3.2 model is downloaded, it is run automatically and you can now use it in N8N. Let's head back to it. So I have this AI agent node that needs chat model connected. Let's just press plus sign and choose Olama chat model from the dropdown. We need the credentials. For the credentials, let's just put base URL as Olama and the port of running Olama container. Now select the model we have installed previously and we are good to go. So this workflow runs on chat message received. Let's press chat and start chatting with our own AI. Let's just find out what its favorite color is. This simple example just shows you the capabilities of connecting AI agent to your private language model, but you can do much more. As a tech enthusiast, I like reading tech news, but I sometimes forget about it. For that, I have created a simple N8 workflow that summarizes the hacker news and sends me an email every day with the top five news there. Let's dive into it. So this workflow also has a schedule trigger that runs every day at 4 p.m. It starts this workflow by getting the HTTP request or scraping the Hacker News homepage. Then I extract the HTML content from the request. I split it out and limit to top five news, which is then aggregated to one request for the AI agent. This AI agent uses OpenAI chat model which is very easy to attach. You just need your OpenAI account and API key. And the last step sends me an email. Let's put this workflow to the test. I will do it 
by pressing the test workflow button. You can see the workflow going through all the steps. And now the AI agent is looking into each of those top five news and summarizing them for me. One of the things that I love about N8N is their template catalog. You just press the link here on the left side of the screen and it takes you to over 1000 templates which are ready to use. Once you find the template you want to use, it has a really cool feature that allows you to use this template immediately. Just press the use workflow button and import that template directly to your self-hosted instance. It will show you the credentials you need to set it up for it to work and you can start using it immediately. That wraps up our guide on setting up and using N8N on hosting your VPS. If you have any questions, share them in the comment section below the video. And if you have any tips or ideas for N8N automations, let me know them as well. For more videos on VPS and other web development topics, consider checking out and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.